okay. Never told you look, you like young Britney Spears. I love you. No, I get Lisa Loeb all the time. It's like the one person who wears glasses. I don't. I see you on the glasses. <laughs> But Britney Spears, I'm going to use that forever, let me tell you. <laughs> Greatest compliment. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Great. So I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So I'm not going to lie, I had to sleep with um, the lights on after I saw this movie. I was so terrified. I kept like falling asleep, but then like scared that I would fall asleep because, you know, there's a moment in the movie, I don't want to spoil it. But I was scared of falling asleep, so kudos to everyone for that. But before mm -hmm. I get too ahead of myself, Kevin, tell everyone what they cursed is about. Wow. Well, uh, it's it's a uh, it's a throwback to the vintage horror movies of the seventies. Um, that's the vibe of it, and it's about a young nurse Ellie who gets a call, mysterious call, to uh, take care, uh, be a caregiver to an older lady, uh, Mrs. Ambrose. And there's more than meets the eye uh, when she takes that job, so. Yes, yes. So for all of you, we'll go around. Tell me about your favorite memories from set or your favorite moments to play. Wow, I'm very bad with favorites because uh, there's just too many. I feel like there, there were so many at set. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, some to choose from, I, I guess, just because I love the genre so much and it just felt like I, we all had the ability to go to the next level with Alma. Um, uh, I guess, so there's, there's, we make, I mean, for me, there felt like we were making some allusions to some classic horror film. And um, yeah. again, without giving too much away, I felt, um, it was it was fun to kind of be a part of certain scenes that I felt were um, you know and lead to that um, yeah and and where Alma goes with her with her plan um, so yeah anytime I got to scream my head off I think that was so <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> uh, working with my daughter. Just yes amazing and um favorite things that i filmed i really love realism i like getting really in it really in the muck so when i was actually getting rained on and like pounding through it i, I enjoyed that the most it felt so fucking visceral and real and uh purifying too and it was just like i felt the drama of it all that was my favorite there's three things that i loved was one, I love the, I, when I was working and I turn around, I see Mina and she would just be in the zone. And I'm telling you, she's just in the zone and she's just getting into it. And, and it was just like, okay, this is just awesome. Cause this is what it's all about. I loved seeing Sarah on set and, and going through the script. And like, I was like, Hey, how about this line? And she goes, Oh no, I was thinking about the same thing. Let's cut that. Okay. That's great. You know, so we always were on the same connection and, and what Alexa said about the rain, I loved that moment when we had the rain machines going and I was like, okay, are you okay? Everything? She goes, yeah, let, let's do it. And I was like, okay, they, these, they, they came to play. So just what an awesome cast, to, you know, and, and uh, it was just such a treasure for me to, to be a part of that with, with, with these uh, actors. Yeah. So Alexis, talk about acting with your daughter. Um, it's uh, it was, it was an initiation, you know? Um, I know it's not gonna be the last time. It was a really beautiful initiation. Um, she, she was very tough, actually. I didn't have to coddle her really, except for one time when she thought that she was, for some reason, she, she thought that she was in a scene where she was laying in a bed and then Meg just like falls from the ceiling or something. And she, uh, she actually worked herself up to a panic imagining this so scared that she was crying and uh, like hyperventilating and wouldn't listen to reason when I said, no, honey, that's, that's not your scene. That's not your scene, but it's really, really, it's really, I don't fit you, oh my God, oh my God. And what was really going on was she was actually filming her last shot of the day, but I got confused and then I had to um, really like try to calm her nervous system down and just be a mom for a while. Um, and, uh, 
get her back on set because she was she was holding it up for a minute um, about something that she didn't even have to do. Um, that was the only moment where she was really scared um, on it. She was really, really brave the whole time. And she didn't think Meg was actually scary because she could see the light in Meg. She thought Meg was a real sweetheart. But the person that was Meg's uh, stunt double, she was fucking petrified of. Like that person, for some reason, really got under my kid's skin and uh, she didn't want to be around her at all. <laughs> and that was really funny. Um, but, you know, it was like I had two jobs in, in the one job and um, and I got my baby and I didn't have to miss her for, for once on a, on a film set. And so, I mean, it was just amazing. That is amazing. So you're all saying that it, this movie alludes to classic horror. Do you all have a favorite horror movie? They live. Good one. Seriously. <laughs> but is that horror? I don't know. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. John Carpenter. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Oh, my God. Ring. I liked um, Babadook. Is another good one. Good. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Babadook. Oof. Mm, I mean, I've talked about like the entity earlier that one I thought was really unique for its time the director's kind of the exorcist sorry yeah. but game over on that one that was <laughs> terrifying um, well you know what's what's terrifying with the exorcist you know because we always think about oh it's you know Regan and spinning her head ah, and all that stuff but it's really the tr when you watch that movie again about questioning your faith, right? With the father and the idea that when you put the kid through all the medical experiments, when they're checking her brain and things like that, that when I was, cause I rewatched it and I was like, just a, a while back and I was like, wow, that's how powerful this movie is because that's all great with the, the throw up and all that, you know, but the idea of that kid going through the trauma and what that family's going through. And then the, the father of what he's going through about questioning his faith those were the kind of the moments that I wanted to do with the accursed, right? It's all about the, the characters and, and the story um, and getting into the weeds with, with what's going on and the, and the human psyche, you know? So, yeah. So Kevin, what's your favorite scary movie? I mean, I have a, I could be on here for hours, but uh, <laughs> The Change is a great film. I love The Changeling. Um, uh, you know, uh, don't look now. I mean, what an amazing movie. You know, they don't make movies like that anymore, you know? So I really love the, the older vintage horror films, you know? And then um, Evil Dead, uh, but Evil Dead is probably my favorite horror movie, but Evil Dead is where I, I, Evil Dead and Raiders were the movies that really inspired me where I was like, wow, you can put a camera there and you can do that and you can make a visceral and you can make it, you know, cause Evil Dead's funny, but it, it's horror and it just goes over the top. And I just, that was the movie that really, really opened my mind to making movies that I really wanted to make films when I saw that film. And now you have the poster behind you. Yep, I've got the Raiders and I got my Army of Darkness. <laughs> What's cool is uh, when I got to LA and I started going to film school, Army of Darkness came out and I met Sam Raimi and he wrote on my poster, and I have it autographed. He says, Kevin, looking for your name on the big screen, keep rolling Sam Raimi. And I met Bruce Campbell, and he said, Kevin, ignore whatever this guy said above it. So um, <laughs> I, have, I have it right here. So it's really one of my. Bubba Hotep, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bubba Hotep all the way. I love Bubba Hotep. Yeah, Bruce, it's awesome. Okay, so I'm curious, what are some of your dream collaborators for all of you? My my dream collaborator would be um, um, someone that I'm madly in love with. <laughs> You're gonna leave us hanging? <laughs> no, uh, that's it, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It doesn't okay. matter who, it's like, Someone, if I'm madly in love with it, like that would be a dream. Like growing up in this industry, I used to separate the two personal relationships from business relationships. And I would, uh, I dated some very high profile people, but I would never, ever like cross streams. I didn't want any help. I didn't want to be seen as someone who might be using them like everybody fucking else in LA. 
but that was rooted in wounding and, and insecurity and, and disgust of basically the culture of Los Angeles. And now I have like grown, you know, and evolved past that. And I would like nothing more than to work with someone I love. That's all. I really liked Lady Bird. I think I'd really like to work with Greta Gerwig. Um, I saw a clip of her directing in that and she just seemed to have such a playful, empathetic spirit to her. She, like she was right there with the actors and uh, I don't know, I could see that being a really fun experience. It's a great movie. Yeah. But Fincher, yeah. only the Fincher. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Mina? I mean, I, I try to, um, you know, be very open and live in the gratitude. I feel very grateful mm -hmm. for, you know, this opportunity that we had here. I mean, I, you know, uh, I'm sure I could have a very long list if I were to make one, but I think it really just starts with presence and, you know, mm -hmm. Kevin is such an amazing person um that I mean that's that's where it begins and especially um you know I, I worked on some projects after working on this and one of the most astounding was just experiencing um directors really not being present and, um, and sometimes not even physically being there on set so oh. that can create um you know, it changes your perspective. And for me now, just having someone who's just really pumped to be there and passionate about their work and really open suggestion. And, and that's, for me, that that's, that's a dream, you know, that's a win. And you're all of that, Kevin, you're amazing. Oh, I also want to keep working with Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> that's my dream collab again. <laughs> Love I just remember <laughs> because Kevin had come out of surviving basically COVID. And, you know, that was our conversation when we first talked about this. And it was just about, about the importance of life and like being here and living in that gratitude and let's just make something and have fun. And I thought, oh my God, like how refreshing. Like, thank you. You know, it's, it's not everything else that everybody wants to think of all the time, you know? And, and so um, that just felt, for me, I mean, just because this was quick, you know, you're going in and out, you don't have much time. And it, I just felt like really excited to at least just have that. Someone that you felt like really cared. You don't always get that, you know? So it's nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, on the topic of gratitude, thank you all so, so much for the art that you bring into the world. I really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Thank you. You're, are you Canadian? I am Canadian. <laughs> I heard the yes. Abutish something about it. Where are you? Abut Where? Montreal? Toronto. Oh. No. Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. I yeah. thought it was my first spot, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank and you're you. Very sweet. I love Canadians. Oh, come visit. <laughs> okay. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, everyone.